Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. I have studied and noticed that Governor Gordon Obaseki is one of the best governors in the 36 states of the Federation as at today. The return of schools to churches will be commends Obaseki, says the best of decision. Well, everybody, uh, we reported you a news today that Governor Gordon Obaseki has made a decision. His planning and a theme has come together to look at the returning of schools. You know, there were some schools that were started by missionaries in this country. Some were, you know, gender, uh, so that they can focus on particular gender, only boys' schools, only girls' schools, by missionaries, schools that were brought in, like the Catholic schools, for by Catholics, by Baptists. Baptist schools, you see, um, and you know how they have helped shape and develop our schools. Leaving things in the hands of the government has not helped our education uh, system at all in Nigeria. We see for ourselves again and again how things have been in this country. You see the privately owned schools by churches. You see how the educational system for them, you see how it's even much more better than the government-owned school. There is no single government-owned school that you can compare to the privately owned schools by churches. So government, Governor Gordon Obaseki is making this arrangement to return schools back to missions. And the uh, former pres vice presidential candidate uh, Peter Obi has commended Governor Gordon Obaseki saying he's one of the best governors of the 36 state of the Federation as at today. Let's carry on and get all the details. Return of schools to churches, Obi Komend Obaseki says is one of the best governors in the 36 state of the Federation as at today. The vice presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party in the year 2019 election, Peter Obi, has commended the Edo State Governor, Governor Godwin Obaseki, on the news of the plan of return of schools to the churches. He said this is he said this via his Twitter handle on Wednesday. Obi tweeted, I read with happiness news of the planned return of schools to the missionaries by the Edo State Governor. I must commend Governor Gordon Obaseki is one of the best governors we have in the 36 states of the Federation as are today. I have been watching and paying attention to the style of leadership of this governor. He is one man that can be emulated. He's got wisdom, direction on how a state should be headed. This is one man that I've seen has de has developmental plan really for his state. I commend the move and I encourage others to follow suit. I will continue to support all moves towards the improvement of education in our dear and great country. It was recently reported that Governor Gordon Obaseki, who recently won his re-election for another four-year term, on the platform of the People Democratic Party, plans to return missionary schools to them, starting with Our Lady of Fatima Secondary School, Hauchi. It will be recorded that as the governor of uh, Anambra State, the former governor of Anambra State, Peter will be returned all missionary schools to them and went to offer the support of over six billion to them. Obi also rehabilitated all returned schools, purchased computers and buses for them, provided them with internet facilities, generators, library facilities and water, among others. The results were amazing, such that the World Bank stood by the improvement of schools in the state, which from 27th position came to first position comm comm commissioned uh, by Professor Paul Kola to study the phenomenon improvement as a model for other African countries to follow. So Peter Obi has done this in Anambra State where he spent over $5 billion to also, because you're not just returning them to the schools, yes? They were in a state where they, when they were with you, it was, it was an eye, so when they were with the government. So Peter Obi, you know, he had to do the right thing. And one of those things he did was re refurbish them, put things in order, and, you know, return them back to the owners return them back and when he did put computers library buses 
so that they can continue. You know, that was the state they were when the government, federal government of Nigeria said all schools should go to the government and took them from the uh, churches. And these people were the ones that pay great attention. Look, I just just to make a bit of comparison, look at education in the South, uh, how churches to look after the school and make sure the children are well educated to their imaginary system in the north. You see why the north, there is so many illiterates. Imagine a child of 11, ah, that one is even mature, fully well developed, ready, that should be getting close to a grandmother. You know, you see the imaginary system. Again, you know, if you listen to Aisha Yusuf's story, she said by the time she was 11, she did not have a single playmate anymore. They've all been whisked away to get married. They've all been married, 11-year-old child. By the time she was 11, as young as seven, some were very started, you know, you know the trauma they went through. By the time she was 24, when she was getting married, a full-blown uh, mature woman, some were already grandmothers. So how do you expect? They will look so old, so tattered. They will look older than their age. They cannot speak. They don't know their left from their right. They are just baby factories. They are just there. They don't even know what life holds. Not a single penny entitled to their name. They have potential ability in them to become great people, leaders. Uh, you know, Buhari, Buhari is training his children in the best schools in the world, sending them to, the, to, to London to study. They allow these other people's children, the poor students, to suffer. But in the South, it's not like that. So uh, Peter Obi did that, and they, I mean, it was great. Governor Gordon Obasek is following suit. And he looked at him, he said, this is one of the governors of the 36th state of the Federation of Nigeria today that I will commend seriously because this man, you know, he said, Governor Gordon Obasek, he said, you hear the statement that he, he heard the statement with so much happiness. He received it with so much happiness that Governor Gordon Obasek is steering the ship in the right direction. This is how we should be. This is how development ought to be. This is where we are moving and this is how it ought to be. This is where, you know, we need to start rising up to the truth of the matter that, you know, today it's, it's, it is what it is. You see, if we must advance and move forward, we must retrace our steps and go back and say, where did we miss it? Where exactly did we miss it? Pick it up from there and move on so that we can be a better people and we can make progress. You know, so Peter will be seriously commending Governor Gordon Obaseki. I would like to hear from our Edo uh, sons and daughters. What do you think? It's starting with our lady, uh, our lady Fat uh, Fatima in Hawichi, that these schools need to return back to the, the missionaries so that they can have the best quality of education for our children. Anyway, guys, we're just keeping it real, informing you of all that is going on. Please don't forget to like us, to share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. God bless you. Bye for now.